Welcome back to the Trainer Series playlist. In the last two videos, I showed you how to download a custom sounds pack and install it, and also how to create your own sounds. This video will be covering how to create your warnings and alarms, as well as switch sounds. Uh, I'll, I'll do both in the same video, so let's go ahead and begin. Hey JC, welcome back. That was actually covered in the last video. So now we want to press menu to go to our models, choose your model, then page over to, uh, we'll be dealing with logical switches and special functions, but first we need to cover special functions, uh, logical switches will be next. So first up, let's say we want to play a sound once we flip the switch. Uh, because if you're like me, I like wearing my FPV goggles and I actually know exactly what switches I'm flipping and what position they are in without having to take my goggles off or feel around. Uh, so we will press enter and you can scroll through all these to find the switch you were looking for or you can just go ahead and flip the switch and it will, it will automatically find it for you. The switch is SF. You will also notice that there is a down arrow, then if I flip it up, then, then there is a up arrow. So place it in the position that you want it to play that sound in. For example, this would be off, and I don't want it to play a sound there, I want it to play a sound once I turn it on, which is there. So go ahead and press enter to save what you have. Page, uh, my bad, uh, press the down key, or minus key to go over, and to play a sound, the sound's confusing, you don't want it to say play sound. What you're looking for is actually play track. Then with the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that I showed you in the last couple videos, I went ahead and found what tracks I wanted to play. And for ARM, I want get real, or at least that is the abbreviation. Now there's two ways of doing this. This is the easier but slower way. You can also use the OpenTX Companion and I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, towards the end of this video once we get done here. Personally, I, I like using the OpenTX Companion even better. Okay, there it is, get real. So I'll press enter. And this is how many times you want it to play that track, which I just want it to play one time. So once you're done, press exit. Now if I flip the switch, that's off and this is on. Things are about to get real. And there you go. Arm is done. Now let's say we want uh, our three flight modes. So I will put the, the switch in the position that I want for acro, actually angle, which is there. Press enter to save it. Now go back to play track. And this one I want cheat mode active, which is right here. I just want it to play once. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, this time the only difference is I'm putting it the same switch in the middle position. This is going to be for horizon. Press enter. Uh, and everything else is the same. Okay there's my uh, three positions on the same switch so let's test it out. Cheat mode active. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, they all work. Now there's other things you can do besides just making a switch play a sound. For example, say uh, you don't have an on-screen display, you want to know what your voltage is using a switch. So let's just click that. I'll flip a switch. This time we want play value. Now I'm going to look for the sensor that I want it to play the value for. And in this case, it's going to be VFAS, which is voltage. Then exit out. Zero volts. I don't have my multirator connected right now, but say uh, our LiPo battery plugged in is at 13.8 volts. Whenever you flip the switch, zero volts. She's going to say 13.8 volts. So that's just a couple examples. Um, you can create tracks for switches. You can also play values, not just for voltage, but also, uh, say, with your barometer. You can play a value for your altitude if you want. The possibilities are literally endless. 
Now let's talk about our warnings. So page, hold down the page button to go backwards a page to logical switches. Um, let's cover the most important, which is our, our uh, warnings for voltage. Well, first, let me say, you do not have to create a warning for your RSSI. That is automatically put into the Tyrannus. If you go over to your telemetry page, that is why you have, why is that set right there? That was from the last video, or three videos ago. Anyway, your low and critical alarms for your RSSI is automatic. You don't have to, to do anything for those. Um, now everything else you do have to create, like your voltage. So let's go ahead and click here. Oop, what am I doing? And you'll see through here there's many different things that you can do. Uh, for this example, we will do A is less than X, where A is going to be uh, basically the warning, and the warning will come on if we are less than X, and X is going to be our uh, voltage. So we will click VFAS, enter to save it. Now you want to pick your voltage. Um, now I use uh, 4S LiPo batteries and I want mine to be at, I like to do about 13.7 volts. Now that is going to be my first warning. You can actually have two. So uh, we're basically going to do the same thing again, except this time I will do 13.2 volts. And actually, I'm going to set this one at 13.8 now that I think about it. So once you get down to 13.8 volts, it will give me one warning. And at 13.2 volts, it will give me my like critical warning. But it's not going to do this on its own. You actually have to go to the next page to do that. But first, let me explain delay. If you use an on-screen display or something like that, um, you may have noticed that whenever you punch it and just go full throttle, your voltage drops dramatic <laughs> dramatically. <laughs> I need to stop drinking. It drops drastically. And because it drops, so it's such a sudden drop, it will go below that voltage. And you don't want that because it will be constantly warning you every time you go full throttle when really I mean, if you're just hovering around, your voltage is in like the 14 something volts. So what we want is a delay. So go over here to delay, and I will actually set this to, I like to do about five seconds. And then same thing for this one. So now for it to give me this warning, it has to be below 13.8 or below 13.2 for at least five seconds before it will give me that warning. Now we just want to go over to special functions and take note of which one these are. So for example, my first warning is L1, my second warning is L2. So coming back to here, instead of using a switch, I will actually find L1 and L2. So here's L1, I want to play value or play track, my bad. And I want it to say battery low. And I only want it to play one time. Now come here, find L2, play track again. And this one is going to be my critical battery, so I want it to say bat crit. Now let's go back, uh, just to give you another example. Let's say you have a barometer on your multimeter. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. On your multi rotor. And this time instead of playing a alarm for it being below a certain value we want it to play alarm if it goes above a certain value so say like you know your altitude so this time we want a is greater than x and now we will find our barometer which is going to be labeled alt and uh i can't remember off the top of my head i think a legal limit is like 400 meters at least where i live so let's just set this to 400 meters Okay, hit exit to save it. Uh, I'm not going to have a time delay on this one. I want it to warn me as soon as I hit 400 meters. Page over to special functions 
and just like before we will find L3 and for this one I just want to say disengage okay so there's just some and I mean some like very few examples of what you can do using these special functions and logical switches pages after you have completely set everything up you probably want to test it so let's go ahead and do that okay I just plugged in a lipo battery to my multi rotor so first let's test the voltage switch that we made 15.7 volts okay that's working now uh, to test the logical switches which is your alarms um, one thing you can do is just drop this or increase it so say my lipo is at 15.7 volts I'll just set this to right here low battery okay that one works I'm gonna set it back let's test this one battery critical okay that works now the multi rotor I'm using right now does not have a barometer so I can't show you that one but basically you would just set this to zero and then you can suck <laughs> you can suck on your barometer and uh, that will actually increase you know make it think that it's higher than it is by uh, removing pressure from it and all that so now for the last thing I want to show you I went ahead and entered the bootloader on my Tyrannus and connected it to my computer. Now I'm just going to go into the OpenTX Companion. Now I just want to click on Read Model and Settings. And here is the model I was using, so I will click on that. Now go to Special Functions or Logical Switches, and you'll see right here that you can actually uh, do the same thing that we did through the Tyrannus using this. So you can pick whatever track you want and put it there. If you are not sure what it sounds like and you don't have, just say whatever sounds pack you use, you don't have a Excel sp spreadsheet saying what the abbreviation means, then you can actually click this. Things are about to get real. And it's going to play it for you so you can actually hear it. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this to let you know that you can actually make all of your setting changes not just logical switches and special functions you can also set up telemetry um, do your inputs and mixes everything from the OpenTX companion uh, once you have made all of your setting changes then you would just make sure you do write actually here write models and settings to radio so that's going to do it guys. Uh, if you haven't seen the Trans Series playlist, look in the top right of your screen. There will be a link to my playlist. The next video will be custom images. So I will see you soon.